hello so in this uh, assignment what we are going to do is uh, understanding how the ebs volumes can be used to mount on your linux uh, ec2 instances and how we can create the snapshot and then create new volumes from those snapshots and attach those volumes to the another ec2 instances so typically you will need uh, along with the root disk uh, where you have the operating system you also need a data disk typically right you uh, anybody who will be creating the machines they would have different disk attached for different reasons like maybe a video or a audio files uh, reside in a di separate disk log files may be in the separate disk so it's ideal right it's ideal situation where you have multiple disk and as per the requirement you have different disk sizes and then you uh, have your file systems which are mounted on those disks so to start with what we will do we will create a uh, two ec2 instances here and uh, both will be amazon linux uh, with single root disk there uh, what we will do is we'll create a additional ebs volume attached to the first ec2 instance and we'll mount this uh, disk inside an ec2 so that we can use it as a file system we'll create a temporary file there and uh, then we'll uh, detach this uh, volume from first ec2 instance and then attach it to the another ec2 instance uh, and we'll see that whatever data we had uh, on the first ec2 instance we can see that on the second ec2 instance okay so that's what this assignment is let's uh, go to directly our assignment so the first thing i am creating just two ec2 instances so i am here So launch instance select configure instance this everything i am keeping as default because i am using the default uh, vpc so it would be created in a public subnet with the public ip and add storage if you see so i have just a root partition because the ami that i have selected had just one root uh, volume attached not the additional so as of now i am not adding any extra devices here so it's a normal workflow that you have been doing so far so maybe this is ec2 1 and what i have to do is i have to log into this box over ssh so i would need to have the ssh there so i'll say this is ec2 1 so all these steps are very familiar to you i'll quickly launch Okay, similarly I'll launch second instance so here I'm selecting Amazon Linux and if you see the root device type is EBS and the virtualization type is HVM so I explained these things in the lecture so again the same settings no ch okay one thing we can change is uh, we should see what availability zone we have used for the first instance typically we would launch these two instance in different availability zones so if I go to the instances, if I see the AZ for this instance, let me just close this down. Some issue with my mouse. Uh, okay. So it is in B. So we need to create this instance, the another one in A. So I would select this subnet so that it is created in A. And then rest of the things as it is, add storage here also. I'm keeping it 8 GB add tags name tag so ec2 2 here also i want to log into this machine so that i can launch my ec2 machine uh, i can launch, uh, connect and mount the disk and ip should be my ip review and launch launch okay so now if you see i sh should have two instances here so this one the first instance so let me just log into this instance using the public ip so i go here open putty i put public ip address i load my ssh key i open it 
the user is ec2 dash user okay i am in the machine let me just change the font okay now if you see uh, if you do say df you will see typically so uh, uh, just ignore this two file system these are for temporary reasons but this is the one the root disk right which is approximately 8 gb here out of which 14% uh, uh, is used right so this is the disk that the root disk which is mounted at this device location but as of now we don't have a second disk right because there is just one ebs volume that is a root volume and if you want to see at device level there is a command lsplk which shows you this is a disk and this is a partition in this disk so the next activity what we want to do is we want to create a new volume and then attach it to the first ec2 instance so how we'll be doing it go to the volumes create volume so it asks for all the questions what type of the volume you need what size so i just want 10 gb probably enough for me and availability zone now this instance and is in ec2b right so i will select ec2b you can't attach a volume from one easy to an instance in another easy so be very careful right then do you want to create this volume from the snapshot no i want to create a raw volume right as of at moment i don't want to encrypt uh, i can add a tag it's a name tag say my volume and create volume okay so if you see this volume has been created it will just appear it here okay this is my volume so as of now this volume is available that means it's not attached to any running ec2 instance the next action we can do is attach this volume and it will populate so it will populate just first instance because it is in the same AZ as volume you don't see the second instance because volume cannot be shared across the AZs. You would have to create a separate volume in different AZ if you want to attach it to second EC2 instance. Okay, and here by default, uh, you can specify this device uh, name where it is mounted. Now, uh, thing is, uh, when you actually go into the instance, you might see the different name here. That's because uh, it depends really on the kernel drivers uh, how the device is actually attached to the instance. So, ideal way to find it out log into the instance and run lsblk command for amazon linux and it will show you where the device is actually mounted so i am putting it sdf i say attach so now you see the status of the devices in use however this uh, volume is just attached it is yet not mounted if you go here now and do lsblk Okay, I need to just reconnect. You see that there is this XVDF device. So we had name as SDF, but it was changed to XVDF. So that's one thing to note about. You should also find, you should always find out the device name using this command okay so we have this uh, device here but it is not actually mounted so for mounting the raw device first thing we need to create a file system on that device this is similar to you mount a windows d drive e drive you format the disk exactly the same way right so for doing so there are a couple of linux command which i have already attached in this presentation so first thing you need to make this file system but make sure you provide the right device name so for that you need to run the commands with the sudo and then you have to say slash dev as an prefix and xvdf whatever you see here right okay. so it has formatted it and if you rerun you see that uh, xvdf is there and it is formatted so far it is not mounted really so what we do we need to mount this but for mounting we need to have a directory right so as of now the root device has been mounted at slash but we cannot mount the same another disk at the root device because it is already in use slash so we can create any directory uh, under the root and we can mount our our second volume there so what i will do sudo make dir 
slash mnt typically is already present so my disk okay so as of now if you see there is nothing inside this directory now what we'll do we'll actually mount this device at this location right so if you see the command sudo mount then the device name and the directory name so slash dev xvdf slash mnt my disk right okay so here also if you see right now there won't be any files that's because we haven't created and this is by default when you uh, mount a file system you have lost on form directory so don't worry about that so i go to slash mnt my disk and if you see the permission it's used uh, owned by root so i'll create a file system i create a simple file here. so sudo pim say test file and this is this file is located on my new volume okay. and i save it i do df and i see that there is this root device and there is an additional device that i mounted so that means we created new volume we attached to this instance we mounted that we formatted it with the file system type ext4 and then we uh, created a sample test file in that uh, volume and that test file is at the root of the volume right this test file the next thing i want to do is unmount it right unmount this so that i can detach this volume so i unmounted it now again if you see df you won't see that disk here because it is unmounted however in lsblk you will still see that disk is there okay so now this uh, device is attached but it is unmounted so what next thing i can do is uh, either i can uh, i need to attach this volume to another ec2 instance but that ec2 instance is in different availability zone so i cannot directly attach to this detach from here and attach to this first i need to create a snapshot so i'll create a snapshot so snapshot is like a backup so say my snapshot snapshot okay so now if you go to snapshot or open another window with the snapshot you will see that this snapshot is getting created so i'll just pause video for a couple of seconds so that snapshot creation success okay now you see that snapshot creation has been completed right so as soon as we have the snapshot logically we can delete this volume because anytime we can create new volume from that snapshot so this is like for cost saving volumes incur a lot of cost as compared to the snapshots because snapshots are stored in s3 so you pay for cheaper storage so what i do is i uh, first detach this volume from the ec2 machine so it will take a couple of seconds for that okay and now once it is detached and show available i can delete this volume i'm just deleting this one okay so volume is deleted the next thing i want to do is create a new volume but i want to make sure this volume is created in another az because my ec2 second machine is in different az so i say create volume same type size 10 gb i can not reduce it basically from the original and here this time i want to select availability zone uh, let me check what was the availability zone for uh, ec2 one and then. so the second instance was so it's the other way around actually the ec2 2 is in a right the first was in b so i want to use the a availability zone that's correct encryption tags so name tag and this is for ec2 2 right and see my volume 
okay so just a second okay so if you see this volume is available it has been created by the snapshot now next thing i want to do is attach this volume to another ec2 instance so i say attached and it will populate me second ec2 instance again it is by default it can be attached at this name and then we'll check by logging into the instance what's the actual name i say attach okay so by the time it is getting attached i will log on to another ec2 instance so i just need to get the ip address so i go here this is a public ip i go to putty i load my keys okay and now if i do ls blk i see that this device is there but if i do df i don't see it is mounted so next thing is we need to mount this device now one very important thing to note here this in the first time when we created uh, the volume and attached to the first ec2 instance we had to format it because the volume was not uh, volume did not have the uh, the file system right so we formatted it with ext4 which actually wipes out all your data but in this case we assume that we assume or say we already have the volume which is formatted with ext4 right so we just need to mount that there so for that what we will do similar the way we created a file uh, a directory there and mounted so we'll go sudo make dir and you can create any file not really man uh, mnt and my disk you can create say new disk that's also i mean it's uh, your choice what you and then you do sudo mount slash dev xvda xvdf actually with df slash mnt new disk okay now what i expect i if i go to this directory i should have that test file there okay so i have this test file there you see this is a file located on my new volume that means we just uh created a volume from volume attached to the first instance we return some data then we took a snapshot of that volume Uh, created new volume from in another AZ and attach that volume to the another EC2 instance. So likewise, you can create as many volumes you want, uh, and you can manage that. So that's it uh, for this video. If you face any issues, let me know. Thank you.